Warning, the following video contains footage of animals being hunted and killed. If that's an issue for you, I suggest you seek growth. Happy birthday, Tice. <laughs> the greatest penny. Hey there everyone and welcome if you are new. My name is Chris Waters, the Australian Huntsman and guess what? In this video, I'm gonna go out hunting foxes with my brother Tyson, it's actually his birthday. And I said, what do you wanna do for your birthday? And he said, I wanna hunt some foxes. So I thought well, this is a great opportunity to try out this Night Tech Thermal Monocular. This is the XD65 Pro 2, pretty keen. Hopefully we can have some foxes. Let's go have some fun. So the first thing we did was head over to the hunting location, which was some friend's property. And if you haven't done spotlighting before, it's basically driving through these paddocks slowly with a spotlight and you're looking for the amber eyes. But obviously in this situation, we had the thermal monocular as well. So it, they stand out pretty easy and it wasn't long before we found our first fox. And it was Reese sitting in the front seat who had the, I think it's a Tika 243. And this one was about 250 meters. So it was a decent shot, but Reese is an absolute crack shot. And as you can see here, he uh, made short work of that fox pretty quickly. Now in the shock, the fox did run for a little bit, but he did go down pretty quickly and we were able to go pick him up. Actually in Victoria, there's a bounty for fox scalps. Since 2011, you get about $10 per fox scalp and 120 per wild dog. So we decided to put it on the front of the bull bar just to keep the guts and the blood out of the car and then we'd keep on moving on. So we kept going. Reese was going to stay in the front for a little bit longer and take some more shots. I was actually sitting in the back with the 22 mag and a shotgun on my lap, <laughs> waiting for my turn. But uh, again, it wasn't long before we found another one. This one was a little bit closer. Yeah, way high right. You can see here, this fox clearly knew that we were there. <laughs> he wasn't under any illusions at all that something was wrong and that he had to get out of there. So he was making a bit of a beeline. But eventually, he stopped. So with two foxes down, we were pretty excited to keep moving and move on to our second paddock, uh, which wasn't as spooked as the one that we just shot the two foxes in. So it was my turn to sit up next in the passenger's seat and have a crack at some foxes. Uh, before I do that though, let me take 30 seconds to say about Australia's best hunting club and then we'll come back. Hunting Trips Australia has the best hunting club in the country, as well as your stock standard inclusions like public liability, hunting insurance, and genuine reason to own a firearm. Membership also includes awesome perks like monthly hunting product giveaways, bi-monthly guided hunt giveaways, hunting product and course discounts, weekly early access to the Huntsman videos, an exclusive invitation to the annual camp, and a bunch more. So get your butt over to huntingtrips.com.au slash membership and join Australia's best hunting club. I'll see you there. All right, back to the video. So I'm in the passenger seat, I'm raring to go, I'm excited. I love this because there's this competitive nature as well between you and your brother and your friends, like who can get the most foxes. And after scanning the paddock, uh, I found my prey and I was pretty excited to take my first shot. So it's a matter of stopping, breathing in, taking your time, you're a fair distance from them. You can tell it's a fox, you can see his ears, and then you take your shot. Single shot, he was down. Uh, flopped around a bit, but pretty much an instant death. And and then the joys with fox hunting with spotlighting is that you have to go then find it in the dark, but having a thermal monocular makes it so much easier. Uh, even when it's down, the body continues to radiate heat, so it's pretty easy. And I know a lot of people think foxes are vermin. Um, I actually see a lot of beauty in them. I think they're efficient killers, they're amazing animals, and they're a joy to hunt because they're difficult. So after three foxes, uh, jump back in the car and we're ready to go again. I was ready to take another crack at another fox and we had to move to another different field because again, we kept flushing them out of the fields because they were so scared. And uh, I actually saw some rats in this shot. Uh, again, the thermal monocular is so good that you can see everything. So I saw these rats and then behind them, I snuck a look at another fox. And that shot was great. Clean hit straight to the chest, knocked it straight down. Now, as you can imagine, the fox took a two, four, three round straight to the chest. So it did a fair bit of damage to his internal organs and, and ripped them out. So I like to show respect to animals, even if they are considered pest animals and clean them up. What we were doing as well is because we were putting them on the front of the bull bar, the way that you do that is you cut an incision between the Achilles and then you can push the paws through that hole and essentially create like a backpack that, you know, fixes it to the front of the, the bull bar. 
But that was it. That was the night. After that, Tyson took one himself. He ended up with five foxes. And it's just a great time of camaraderie. I love it. I love getting out with friends and brothers and bonding over these experiences. There's nothing really quite like it. And because it's late in the night, you'll get a bit hysterical as well, which kind of adds to the fun. Happy birthday, Tyson. <laughs> the greatest penny. Yeah, not bad at all. All right, so we're done with our hunt. It is 3.04. <laughs> AM. So um, I'm going to go to bed now, but we did well. We got five foxes. Um, the XD65 Pro 2 thermal scope from Night Tech did really, really well. This thing was like a godsend to spot all the foxes we spotted. We actually spotted with this first before we um, found them on the spotlight. So pretty impressed with this thing. I will be doing a full breakdown um, and unboxing and reviewing of this device. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Otherwise, if you have any questions or comments about this video, if you've gone fox hunting recently, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Love to hear your stories. Otherwise, hopefully I see you in a video soon. Bye.